brought you to one of my favorite campsites. This is a great spot for uh, overnighters, uh, for a solo overnight. Now, last time I was here, I started building the fire reflector, which will bring the heat back to me from my campfire and also block the wind from the west side. I don't have a whole lot of time left. Uh, I've got a couple hours before the sun sets on me. But I'm going to see what I can do about improving this position. The first thing I thought I'd do is start digging my dad's old camp shovel. I'm going to dig me an area here uh, for the fire, the campfire. Dig out the old roots or uh, anything that might smolder, old pieces of wood or whatever. And lay down some rock and build up this reflector a little bit better. Well, it looks things. Took about half an hour to get out of here before it gets dark on me. So I made a pretty good dent in it. I'll come back again another day when I have time and do some more work. But it's not a bad start. These little fold up bags are great for carrying stuff once you get to camp. Like uh, no rocks, for example. And then when you're done, you just clean this one out a little bit. Then you fold it up on itself. And there you go. Put it in your day pack and it's ready for another day of hauling rock or kindling or whatever you need. Last time I was out here, I started working on the fireplace for the camp. I went home and watched the videos. I got excited. I couldn't wait to come back out here and shoot some more. I learned quite a bit from watching the last segment of this episode. <clears throat> so here's the fireplace that I've started. Carried a lot of rocks. It's taken a while, but this is one of those things I'm establishing a, a base camp, so it's going to take a while to get it right. So I've carried a lot more rocks, and it's starting to really come together. I thought I'd take a little break and get me something to eat, get me a power bar. So I, I was looking at this and saw my next project. I'm gonna make a uh, strap for the Light My Fire mess kit. The new ones come with the strap, but I got this one on sale because it didn't have the strap, it was the older model. So I took advantage of that and I rigged something up. But since I like to man sew, I thought I'd make that one of my next uh, episodes. Another project I had for camp today was to find a a nice little club or a baton that I can keep here at camp and use my knife and the baton to split firewood or to make things whatever I need without, without having to carry my hatchet every time. So I found a piece of oak that's fallen recently. Uh, it's not rotten uh, but it's not standing so I'm going to take advantage of that and make a nice little baton.
Yeah, that's a nice piece. Getting heavy. That'll do the trick. Oh, here's a little gear review for you. The oh, Gerber uh, pack axe or pack hatchet, whatever they call it. Comes with the hatchet, the sheath, and it's got the hidden knife, which I like. It's just a little tiny thing, but I guess it's about a two and a half, three inch blade. Pretty sharp, does a good job. It's got a decent spine. It's kind of small, but I've got small hands. Uh, it fits me decently, so if you got big hands, probably not gonna feel right to you. But overall, I give it three tenths. Now this is ugly tent, so we rate everything by a tent. But for a nice little hatchet, throw in your backpack. It does a good job. Now you can see it's pretty sharp. I have sharpened it once, but it was sharp coming out of the package. As far as your box store hatchets go, it does does all right. It's fairly cheap. I think I got it on sale for about 40 bucks. 40 US dollars. there I'll work through that all right the rest I believe we can carve with a, with a knife but that cleaned up the handle pretty good throw that in the fireplace Tell you what, use my little more knife here. Let me show you the the gator knife. Yeah, that way you get a full full review on this thing. Remember, I'm cutting oak, so pretty tough. That's pretty good. Like I said, it's a little small, but considering it's in the handle of, your, of the hatchet, or the pack axe, whatever they call it, it does a good job. Well, here's another segment of this episode. Another afternoon well spent out in the woods. Hanging out, working on base camp. Uh, it's just like life. You're always trying to improve your situation. That's the same thing with base camp. You're always trying to improve it. So I got my baton, turned out pretty good. And uh, tested some gear, gave you a little gear review. And next time we come out, we'll build a fire and uh, maybe real soon, we'll get to spend the night out here and do an overnighter. <laughs>